gates are back and they fired away with Veronica Mars missing the start. Also, Miss Greenlight, Love as a Rose will drop in in the early stages. Fleeting broke out well. Young Love broke out well. Do Angels cry just off them? Future Girl against the inside. Supreme Dream has options on the wide outside. Then we go two, three lanes away to Broadway Girl, who races out in sixth place in the pink jacket. Then we go half a length back to Gold Poker Game. That must be racing about seven lengths from the leader. Miss Green Light, Love as a Rose are the next two. Then comes Veronica Mars, who's won from last. And Who Do You Love is given a chance to stay, racing from the back of the field. It must be around a dozen lengths off the leader at Supreme Dream showing the way by two lengths of a young love who races away in second. Do Angels Cry, White Body is back in third and one off the rail. Then comes Future Girl who holds fourth place. Now being passed by Fleeting who made her move at the outside. Two lengths away, Broadway Girl. Gold poker game, blue jacket, red cap just behind midfield through the crossover of the courses. Miss Greenlight, black and white, further back to Love as a Rose. Veronica Mars has won from last, leaving Who Do You Love at the back of the field, past the 800. Supreme dream, but the lead's been whittled down to around a quarter of a length as Do Angels Cry went alongside to race in second. Young Love is third against the fence, kept company by Fleeting. Then came Future Girl, fifth towards the top of the straight and past the 600. Two back to gold poker game at the outside of Broadway Girl. Little to choose between those two. Miss Green Light now being hustled along, kept company by Love as a Rose, Veronica Mars, and then comes Who Do You Love with 400 meters left to run as the pace breaks away and Young Love in the indigo sleeves and cap went forward to take the lead over Future Girl, Supreme Dream Broadway Girl next best, Do Angels Cry veered towards the outside Future Girl up the inside went past Young Love, Broadway Girls out in third but Future Girl in command and in control Future Girl the winner, second goes to Broadway Girl, then came Young Love in third, Veronica Mars stayed on for fourth Next best was Gold Poker Game, Supreme Dream set the pace and faded and do angels cry was next to finish so victory is for future girl took the shortest route home out of gate one pretty uncomplicated and she comes away to pick up some valuable black tarp some bold black tarp as she stretches clear of a staying on broadway girl and always honest young love and veronica mars who did her best work late future girl out on top crawford's had a treble Race 7, the World Sports Betting Storms Place takes a listed event over the 1800 metres. The winner, number one, Future Girl, the daughter of Futura. Well done to Bongane Lomeni. He receives the 1,000 uh, Rand from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. Thank you to them. Louis Matrotrova was the jockey aboard. Louis, you've always ridden this filly. You've always stuck with her. You clearly knew she was uh, a bit of class. Yeah, she, she, she is a fellow with ability, um, Vicky, but... Um, um, it just seems like she, like she likes the soft, so in summer she battles. So Kevin and Brett have opted that they just wait for the wait for the winter when it's softer. Apparently the whole family seems to seems to like it, and uh, she's proven it. I mean, the last run was a very good run. She come, it was a bit of a lay, come from a layoff, and today she obviously was fit enough, she was ready, and she counted on today. Uh, so yeah, she is a fully. If it could be winter or season, then she could be you know something very special. Do you feel that the race sort of went your way or in your favour? I know you won, but with regards to how it transpired? Yeah, sure it did. Um, the pace was genuine. I thought Kone was obviously always going to come over me. I didn't think my still companion would go through. I didn't want him in front of, in front of us because that footy goes a bit too slow sometimes. But uh, when she got there, she, she didn't stay there, stay there too much. So it, it was all right. Um, I always had so much horse. It's always easy when you have so much horse underneath you. You can pull back and just give yourself that little room so you get momentum. It's, it's there. And I just did that. And on top of it, when I, when I switched it in, it was, it was a race over. Very well done. Thank you. Just well done to Dr. Christine. Um, they're doing very well for the season. And uh, well done to the team. Um, Beck Crawford as well. Um, the 100 winner for the season. They've done very well. And I thank you to my sponsor, Well, It was also nice and fitting. you riding the 100th winner. Does it, I know that you do a lot of work at home and that, but it's quite fitting, isn't it? I said to, I said to Gwen, uh, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you had battled to thank somebody else. Well done. Thank you. That's Louis riding uh, Brett Crawford's 100th winner for the season and uh, Barry Donnelly is going to join me being Brett's assistant. Very well done. Thank you.
As Louis said, he was so grateful that he was the, the, the jockey that rode the 100th winner for you. I don't know why you're complaining, because he's riding all those big number of winners for Hollywood. So, you know, he's, he's in there. <laughs> he's definitely in there. He mentioned this filly enjoys the soft, and, and she won quite comfortably, obviously taking that into account. Yes, no, look, I thought she won very, very well. Um, she just needed a previous run. And um, you know, I know Louis was quite confident about her chances. And as he said, he likes the wet, and she ran on well. Barry, it's been a really great week for you so far. It's not stopping, but uh, well done to you and your team. It's not easy in those wet conditions when the rain's pouring out of the sky and you've got you to face it. Yeah, I know that's true. But, you know, at this stage, I want to say well done to our staff um, to go out there in these conditions and to do what they did. Well done to them. Craig, Spider, or the whole team. And you, well done. Yeah, and then also well done to um, Mrs. Rupert and to Drakenstein and to Kevin and to everybody else. Barry, you get to accept the trophy now. This is the good part. <laughs> well done. Is the champagne in it? <laughs> there will be. You can uh, also come forward if you don't mind uh, joining us uh, with regards to the photo for World Sport. Yep, sure. With. Uh this World Sports Betting Storms Play stakes the listed event. Thank you very much to World Sports Betting being associated with the Winter Series. And then uh, Future Girl is uh, both owned or bred and owned by Dragonstein Stud. So uh, nominee being Mrs. Gaynor Rupert. Yes, I'm, I'm getting to Kevin. I'm introducing the stud, Gwen. <laughs> with regards to Dragonstein Stud nominee being uh, Gaynor Rupert, Kevin Somerville is representing the stud. So Kevin, come across. <laughs> I've by no means forgot about you. I was just doing a great introduction. No, not at all. Um, no, obviously, congratulations to Gaynor. Um, it's the farm's 19th stakes winner bred for the season, so it's an absolutely wonderful achievement for the farm. And obviously, to Brett and his whole team, Barry and them that have done a fantastic job. Louis, who rode the filly beautifully, she seemed to really love the, the soft going, so that's, you know, that's worked in our favour. Hey Kevin, it's uh, you know I think every time I speak to you, it's so lovely to reflect upon a number of horses throughout the the season. It's it's you're having a fantastic run. Yeah, very much so. You know, obviously you, you you've got to enjoy it when it's when you're up because you know in racing it can it can bite you um, very quickly. But um, at the moment things are going exceptionally well, so we want to keep it up there. And results like this um, are you know thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> they are indeed. Well done to you and also everyone at the farm. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Well done to, to Kevin and uh, also well done to Mrs. Gaynor Rupert. Lovely to have all of these families uh, coming through time and time again. And uh, lastly, we're going to uh, chat to Gwen. Gwen asked if uh, she wouldn't mind having a word and then we'll cross to the handy, the trophy handover with Kevin. Well, Gwen, well done. Thank you very much, Vicky. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to say we've had six winners, I think, in two meetings. And it's a good time to say well done to Barry. In what's been a very trying two or three weeks for the team, um, of course, Art Brett here as well, and I think Barry has done a spectacular job um, along with Craig and Spider and the whole team. And just want to say very, very well done to them for holding the fort while Brett's away. And he just wants to say thanks to them too. And of course, very well done to Kevin and to Mrs. Rupert. The most amazing achievement, 19 individual stakes winners for the season, is just an incredible achievement and really well done to them. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank well you done, so much. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going to have the presentation of uh, Kevin's going to come back and everyone's going to, uh, it's always very important to do these things. Kevin, well done. We can also have World Sports Betting for the World Sports Betting Storms Flay Stakes. Well done to them. Thank you for them being involved. It's a listed event. Number one, Futura Girl, the daughter of Futura, is your winner. Lovely, lovely filly. And as Louis said, enjoys the soft. We're not even close to the middle of winter. So a few more of the soft conditions to come through. So keep an eye on Future Girl. Louis said she loves the soft and well-written from him too. Well done to number one, Futura Girl.